Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting us and we hope you are not too tired. And we, we are from Kabo Kabo. And uh, we are based in Tallinn, in Estonia. And uh, yeah, well, I'm Syrian. Please interact with us. Hello. <laughs> and uh, today we, we are going to show just uh, two projects to you. And uh, we selected uh, two which we thought that would fit well with this conference brief and also would uh, describe our working way uh, well. And uh, they are in a very different scale. One is a university and another is a, just a temporary installation. And we start, we start with the university. This is uh, just a short glimpse of the model. It was, um, maybe some of you have seen it because it was exhibited on uh, Prague Architecture Week last fall. We haven't seen this model a long time because it's still in Prague. And um, we have to describe a, a site a little bit uh, more than usual because it's, this project is really influenced uh, of the location. Uh, not only uh, design-wise, but also how it was received by uh, local people and uh, people in Estonia. And uh, it's, uh, it's in a border city, and it's a border between uh, Russia and Estonia. And uh, I think this photo is like an uh, iconic or fairy tale border. And, uh, wait, sorry. The river is a border, and the uh, uh, right-hand side is a Russia, and the uh, left-hand side is a uh, Estonia. And uh, our site is just maybe 300 meters from uh, that, that point. And uh, as you can imagine, this, uh, this, uh, because of this location, uh, the city's history has not been uh, very peaceful. And uh, it got uh, completely destroyed in the uh, Second World War. And uh, here uh, on this uh, plan you see uh, the old city pattern. It used to be, uh, it used to have a park old town, and all those red lines are the, the outlines of the old buildings. And uh, grey is what is existing now there, and the river. This is the river you saw on the photo as well. And uh, yeah, after the war, they. Uh, demolished all ruins and they covered it with uh, housing blocks, typical for this area, all through Shokas. And our site is, our building is this one here, and they, uh, after the war, they rebuilt only the town hall, and also the castle. Town hall is here, and it's town hall as well. And this is the, how it uh, looks like, and the river, and the castle, and the uh, town hall, and our site before our building. And the interesting thing was also that uh, uh, the city didn't lose just all its uh, building, all its buildings, but it lost also all its inhabitants. Uh, the locals were somehow, they left during the war and they were not able to return later. So uh, nowadays still it is, uh, completely, more or less completely Russian-speaking city that only 5% people are, have Estonian origin there in this city. So the uh, university, the, until now they had uh, just a regular, also the kind of um, prefabricated school building, but then they decided to uh, have a new building and also uh, to take this step that they move into the old town so to somehow they had this romantic vision to bring back life to the old town. And yeah, yeah, here are two photos like uh, uh, taken from in front of the town hall, one is before and this is the, how it's now. And uh, this is our first uh, site visit. You really see that uh, it's like uh, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, and uh, it has a very, it had a 
uh, still has very sort of peculiar atmosphere. So in some ways it's uh, completely really very ugly and sad, but in some ways it's also beautiful. And um, if we saw today this thought uh, lecture, then we suddenly discovered that we, we never have had opportunity to work with uh, uh, such kind of uh, like uh, pure places. We always, all our works have been uh, sort of locations which are somehow damaged or, uh, or lost their function or, uh, or uh, yeah. And, but uh, we don't uh, really like to be uh, uh, nostalgic about this. We rather like this kind of attitude that uh, we have what we have. <laughs> and and uh, we take this and uh, yeah, we, we will see what we can do with it. And um, uh, in a way we also enjoy this, that there are those two opposite parts together, this uh, uh, beautiful part and also this ugly part. Uh, we don't think, also in this project, we didn't think that we have to uh, el eliminate this ugly part. Oh, I, ha I had to show that, yeah, this is me, <laughs> and this is Indra, and this was the third girl who was doing this. In the, um, uh, there was a competition, and in the competition brief, it was uh, very strongly advised that we should follow the historical uh, stock market building, which was once there. <coughs> and first, uh, we even uh, thought that it could be uh, maybe uh, quite reasonable uh, to somehow uh, follow it, because the appearance and the inner structure could fit uh, quite well with such kind of... Uh, traditional establish, establishment as a university is. Uh, but the only thing which uh, didn't work out was the urban, uh, uh, urban uh, situation, because if the stock market was built, then uh, it was the last build, building ad which was added to the Old Town area. And at that time, the Old Town was already really densely built, and there was no place left, so they built it uh, on the town hall square, so it covered the uh, town hall facade. And now it, uh, it seems like very much an like impossible thing to do, that if there is only one old building left, and now we come and build our building in front of it, and cover it. So we were starting to look looking ways how to, how to, how to uh, avoid it. And uh, when we work, we usually do a lot of uh, this kind of small models. They are about like this size, uh, because somehow it helps us not just like to develop this concept and uh, the shape, to give it the shape for the concept at the same time. Now I can tell. So. And so we decided to let the site empty. So our solution was to keep this uh, old stock, stock buildings uh, place empty and, and make a new building straight against this uh, creative void. We can, uh, we can see it uh, consists of two parts. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> two parts. Uh, one, one part is, uh, is uh, void, and then another part is uh, new building, new actual building itself. And um, stock, stock market is, is, is formed this uh, small, small square inside, and there is some. some um, but um, as a result, uh, the town hall will remain. The town hall will remain this dominant square, the town hall square. And uh, one, one thing is, it's uh, it's kind of a monument. Uh, you can see it's kind of a monument for for 
for destroy Dogton, but, but also a kind of monument for, for the dreams, uh, dreams for, for rebuilding the Dogton. There was some, uh, even my grandfather had some kind of uh, bottom-up uh, community called uh, Old Narvaids. It's to, to rebuild this old town. It was uh, lots of, uh, and then they uh, talk about like Varsovia and, and, and in Estonia never had, uh, have made this kind of project to rebuild exactly any, any historical buildings. It, it, uh, it's uh, mainstream, it's, it's quite very fake, so uh, we took, uh, we have to, think about what I had to do, but then we decided to do it non-conventional way. So. At the time we made this competition, Oops. this is uh, one of the 3D images we made in the 2000, uh, 2006, I think. It was competition and then no, no any photorealistic rendering, it just made this uh, concept. It was uh, quite interesting, this British uh, artist, uh, <coughs> White Tree, and White Tree, and then uh, this is uh, one of her installation called House, and it's uh, also, it was uh, so ugly, we heard maybe the phrase again tell it more exactly, but it was so ugly that local people. Uh, forced to, to remove it quite quickly. So it was uh, one of the references. And um, and our proposal was um, uh, was reconstruct this um, stock building on, it, on its original place and with all its details, but, uh, but like a void, uh, as I explained. Uh, we see this like the former. It's made of made of concrete, and it, it appears as uh, as a new building, as as uh, as, as old building, uh, destroyed building, as left is traced on the surface of the new structure. This model we made plywood. This actually, the process was very long, and this model was made uh, maybe five years after the competition. It was postponed and all this, and there was uh, lots of discussions with model. And this is, um, you can see some details of this. This is actually building, and this is an uh, empty area in front of the building, this entrance. Oh, this is how it looks uh, when it was completed uh, last year. This uh, town hall is behind us. And it, it, it forms quite the perfect entrance for the university building because it's the uh, one one part of, of Tartu, Tartu is university town, and it's, uh, it's, they have this uh, quite uh, traditional low building from, from classicist era, and, and they have some columns, and, and this is quite uh, representing this kind of uh, identity of this Tartu University to this uh, quite difficult city of Narva and border city. So, it's one more foot of the uh, building. We use some. Uh, we, we didn't know what kind of color was uh, the old buildings because all the old town was destroyed, and we <coughs> just was just black and white bottles. And then we have to design the, all the other, all the new part of the buildings, and was lots of uh, decision had to make, and some. Some one thing is uh, there was quite big pressure to to look it like old town, and 
and we weren't against it because uh, it's quite nice if you people have so prestigious site and nearby town hall. It's quite uh, reasonable to make it uh, somehow to make it, uh, and then we thought if we have quite clear concept and, and, and quite modern concept, then we can maybe it's a good idea to use some uh, handcraft. And, and you can see this um, gate. It's uh, made. Um, it's, it's not designed by us, but it, we we trusted uh, one blacksmith. They proposed the concept to us. It's, it's uh, named after one uh, butterfly. It's called butterfly gate, and butterfly is Latin. is uh, spelled like this. Is uh, city's name is Narva, and so it's uh, it's very beautiful when it's open and, and uh, it's electrical mechanism. And it's both uh, it's wings of the uh, of the butterfly will, will open, and it's uh, some courtyard inside. This section, uh, the structural phase is this is um, <coughs> concrete, and then this structure is exposed through all the building. It's, and if you there is entrance and there is some small bridges before if you enter the, the foyer, there is some steps in the foyer, and this uh, structure is forming the shape of the new building. You can see structure and the steps. Bridges. And what, what we used several times is uh, just to make some houses a little transparent and to have some elements. You can feel it's the uh, same house. It's some, it's some distinctive elements. It's not. Uh, you can you can sure it's it's you're moving in, in the one 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 certain same house. So the interior of the house is. Um, we, we designed it quite compact, and, and, and uh, the aim of, uh, of it was to create uh, academic, but, but at the same time, uh, same time non-formal uh, environment for what and students. And and we made this uh, circulation, uh, one plan on the wall, but. This is a courtyard, and it, it made it, uh, all the circulation of the inner circulation of the house is, is around the courtyard. This is a ground floor plan, this is a upper floors. You can, uh, it's quite easy to know where you are. And then there are some step, steps. Uh, it's quite uh, in, in Tallinn, you can see some kind of steps in, uh, in the whole town. It's because of one. Uh, one thing is, when we left this, this part empty, then we, we have to be more dense here because uh, we need some service necessary to have more light and, and then we get more compact and more maybe old town low, light, old town is uh, volume. So, and the last uh, is uh, the cellar behind the Below the square, it's down there. This is the area. It's a uh, 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 it was reconstructed as exhibition by uh, for exhibitions, uh, and uh, we tried to use we actually we used uh, as much as possible the existing part, uh, existing uh, remnants of the old cellar, but uh, there was only. One tenth of the of the old structures were, was left, so we again we choose a non-conventional way in Estonia to just to rebuild this cellar and, and, and use as many as possible the traditional methods of of, of rebuilding this. They didn't got this uh, rebuilt old town, but they just got one cellar rebuilt as. as uh, and not uh, as fake, but uh, but uh, but it was uh, there is some masters still in, in Tallinn uh, doing uh, this kind of boards. So let's see it continue next year. Uh, next project is a very small one, and it's uh, one uh, installation we did in. Uh, yeah, 2011 in Thailand, and uh, we took it as a 
architectural experiment to uh, uh, try out uh, uh, or imagine or explore the, just the future possibilities of uh, one site. So it's like uh, experiment in a scale one to one uh, in a real space, not, not, not on paper. And this is our, our site, it's this old there, which is uh, uh, somehow uh, falling apart and uh, slowly, slowly uh, falling into the sea. And um, uh, maybe to describe to you, because you are so far south, uh, that uh, this is what happens there, is that the ice is breaking it. The ice has really incredible power to... to uh, move the things around and uh, even it's not really uh, directly open to the sea uh, it's quite a protected place and um, what is fascinating there is that it's something between uh, natural and uh, man-made so you can't really tell is it uh, nature already or is it still man-made thing and also it, it's changing all the time like, if you go there, you don't see any change, but um, uh, year by year, it actually, the shape is uh, changing. And uh, even it looks very abundant, uh, but it's uh, really in the city center. And, uh, this is Tallinn and the uh, old town area, and the uh, city is down here, and the passenger boat. And, uh, this is the, the site. <coughs> and uh, it has been uh, maybe 15 or I don't know, maybe more years like this. I know 15 because I live in, uh, I live in this building. So I am often passing, uh, passing by this place. But uh, it's not... Uh, uh, yeah, well, it uh, belongs to somebody who can't get, uh, uh, like probably he's doing uh, some sort of detail plan and wants to build uh, too many square meters and uh, can't get the fruit, so the site is just uh, staying like it is and it's sort of sad that nobody can't use it. And this was our, our idea, was very simple, we just covered all those uh, foam shapes with uh, wooden boarding. <coughs> and here we, like, Indra is building there, but uh, I think we had the helpers, but yeah, the building took us uh, eight days because we had to cut all the wood on site so that it follows exactly the contours of, the, of those boards. And uh, somehow it is so that uh, if uh, before it, if it was just the concrete, uh, shapes of concrete, then uh, uh, like people didn't use it, but uh, immediately after it was covered, the people somehow it was like an invitation for them to use it and they uh, uh, like uh, started to... Uh, and, um, uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't uh, fit anymore for landing boots, but it's really perfect place to uh, hang around and spend, uh, spend your time. And once uh, before I did this installation, I had an idea uh, that uh, maybe I could make a movie so that I take a photo every year from the same spot. So, uh, and if I put them together at the end, I would have a movie how it, this thing collapses. But uh, I didn't have enough patience to do this. So we did uh, this thing instead. And uh, uh, we, uh, we didn't have those drawings uh, when we were constructing, we just made it later for uh, presenting the project. It was a, when we, it was a kind of small competition for city installation and for choosing some ten, ten different installations and one was ours. So it, it was 
we have to think of how it's possible to realize it. And, and it's, it was very difficult to get some advice from structural engineers because uh, there was <laughs> you can, how you can calculate it. And, and then we, we, we just um, thought we have, uh, maybe we can, we can use uh, divers and, and we just to visually to check down but to see what, what is what is underwater part of the damage is, is it safe to use. So and and what it, what it um, so this is one photographer, it's actually, actually his architectural photographer and, and, and but his hobby is to make underwater pictures. And then he helped us out and, and made this picture. And, and it's, uh, now we can see how it's built. Uh, this is like log houses. This is uh, some connections. And then it's quite intact and, and, and quite uh, good order. And then this is uh, part of limestone and then and some is destroyed, uh, destroyed upper part of this, this concrete. Stones. So besides beside other things, we, we wanted to experiment uh, how people would use uh, all those different shapes. Uh, would it be make sense to use uh, such a shapes in, in new buildings? Because some new, uh, some contemporary architects may. Uh, are making very huge efforts to, to, to design this kind of uh, uns unstable surfaces and, and, and unstable, unstable structures. But uh, here it was uh, just, just found a situation and, and we can just uh, start to use it. And, and uh, also what kind of advantages or disadvantages these kind of, of shapes have. And, and what we find out, found out is uh, that uh, some of the steepest, steepest ones are more, most popular. Some points more. Uh, this things is kind of um, architectural events. Um, it's possible to involve people more more actively to use to use the city space uh, or or to, to involve them to shape their own cities and and and, and also to help, to help to discover new places in the city and and start start using using them again and and, and step by step. We hope that people, people's expectation will rise. It's important because there was not any expectation, it's just left to our part, the semi-military and semi-industrial area, and then it's still, it's quite a universal situation. But uh, as, we, as local, locals, local residents, we, we somehow have seen it every day and uh, try to change it very, very, Quickly, or it was just 4,000 euros. But what's the purchase of the project? And, and as a result, uh, maybe we, we, we will get this higher quality of public space. With this work, we have found out the way uh, how, how to be the architect and, and how to be the participating citizen at the same time. And it's very, very open experience for us. And it's always new, but <laughs> what, uh, what I like to say about uh, this first project is uh, we hope that the absence. 
or you know, so he made exposed, uh, <coughs> revealed this, uh, this, this, this complicated story of the site, but, but, but made it without words. Actually, it's not important what architects are saying about the words, works, but, um, but in, in, in this normal case, it's also, it's, uh, people are starting, uh, first they were against, but, but now this Russian community are, are our clients, first, almost first public, public, uh, private clients we have. Uh, Russians know because of the narrow principle. Also, Estonian government have made have meetings in this house, and it's also uh, Swedish uh, because it was Swedish old town, and also Sweden. Swedish people have uh, discovered this Narva Narva old town place. Thank you.